What's going on guys? Today I'm doing a fun video. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how you can paint your Xbox Series S or actually any console for the most part because they're if they're at least matte type of plastic like this, you can do that. You know, like if you want to paint your own uh, PS5 uh, shell, maybe not the, like the black part of it, but if you wanted to paint like your white shells, you want to buy other ones, you can do that. And I'll show you how you can do that. So yeah, this is another kind of random video, but I thought it'd be interesting to just like tackle how I would uh, paint this and we'll see if it works out. I don't even know if the painting is actually going to work out because I was looking for someone else who painted, you know, like a full out like spray paint of their system and I couldn't find anyone who uh, was doing it. So I was doing some of my own research and I think I found a pretty cool way that you can actually do this yourself for like legit like 20 bucks. So um, let's just uh, check it out. We'll get to the end of the video and we will see just how uh, nice and sexy I can make this console look. Okay, so what I'm going for when it comes to this Xbox uh, Series S is we're going to make it like uh, kind of like the same color as the Series X. So the Series X is just like black. Um, it's a matte black, but it has a little bit of a shine to it, as you can see. And I'm gonna try to aim for that with this as well, except for I'm just gonna make this completely black and uh, I'll repaint over this just so it's all just one um, flat black. I think it's gonna look pretty cool. It has a little bit of shine to it, and I'm hoping that, uh, you know, it's uh, easier than you might think. Okay, so I just did a full tutorial on how to actually open this up, and I realized I forgot to hit the record button. So we're going to be doing this again. So pretty much it's super easy. There are two screws right here and right here. Usually there's a little sticker that goes over top of them. Um, it's really easy. You just peel the sticker, unscrew, and this back part will actually just pop out like this. And it just reveals itself. And then from there you'll see this looking at you from here. And you'll see that there's black screws. Do not touch the black screws when you open this thing up. I think there's only four of them right here, but do not touch these black screws and do not touch the silver screws because we're not going inside the system. We're just gonna be going into the shell. So these green ones are actually going to be in all of these missing places. You're going to want to unscrew every single green one and make sure you keep them because you're going to need them when you uh, put the system back together. And, uh, that's going to separate this base from, um, you know, the actual system itself. Now you might be wondering, hey, what are those like white pill things? Okay, so these are actually the feet of the console. I pulled them off because I'm going to repaste them onto those holes after I'm uh, finished with this project. Okay, so here is the case in all of its glory. As you can see, I pulled out the power button and I put it in this bag too. It's actually pretty easy to pull it out. Um, it might be a little tougher to put it in, but I guess I'll let you guys know once I do. Uh, it's just like a little coin, kind of just pulls it out of this. Uh, there's a back latch on the other side of this hole. You can't see it right now because I actually have this ready to be painted. Um, I put extra paper in there just so like no extra paint got inside the holes and uh, got too deep. I also pulled out the button that's on the inside that presses onto the, um, the uh, console itself and uh, that also had the usb on it so all i did was put a little extra tape over top of that so i don't have to worry about any extra paint getting in that so the only part that i'm kind of concerned with is going to be the power button because there's this little bracket in there i don't know if you can see it with the light see a little black bracket in there um it's really hard to be able to get tape in there so what i was probably just going to do um, I, I might put a sticker over top of this when I paint and then just, you know, go back and detail the paint itself. Um, or I might just spray it and then, uh, after it dries, I'll just push down on that piece and, you know, get the paint to kind of break off of it a little bit. And then hopefully that will work and, you know, it will just, uh, not get broken, which of course is the aim with me doing this system. So once again, because I found like nothing in uh, painting your system, I decided to do the research myself. So if anyone actually wants to do this for themselves in the future, you know, you can do that. And, and like I said, you can do this with pretty much any system that's matte. Uh, matte plastic like this so even if you want to do it to your ps5 um, or if you want to do it with like you know some of the other systems here you can do that um, you can even do it with your series x if you really want to so that's going to be pretty pretty interesting to tackle so um yeah let's uh let's get the spray paint and um let's paint this bad boy okay so i ultimately decided to uh split the two pieces uh, separately paint them separately and then of course like if i have to 
you know, chip off some paint to kind of get them back together. Do that and then maybe do a little small repaint for both of them again. I think with the paint I have, which is right here, this paint is actually pretty good when it comes to like a first coat thing. So I shouldn't have to do two coats, but I guess we'll see. Uh, just depends on how, how well I uh, spray paint them. So I'm gonna be setting them up just like this. And uh, this thing says to keep between like six and eight inches, but I'm probably gonna go with 12 inches to like 16 inches just to be safe. And then I can also have a little more space to kind of do my own thing. So I'm doing spray paint because it comes with paint and primer. And theoretically speaking, I shouldn't have to sand this off before spray painting. I just gotta make sure there's no dirt on it, which I'm going to do before I do that. And um, that should theoretically be good enough to support um, the paint and the paint not easily chip. So I guess we will see if it works that way. If it doesn't come out the way that I'd like, I do have an artist in the family who can actually make this look better and she knows everything about paints and stuff like that so I can actually fix it. But we're gonna do the DIY way first and then we'll see from there. So uh, I guess you guys just gotta stay tuned and see what we got. All right, so I just sprayed them and so far it's looking pretty good. Um, I'll have to probably do a second coat. I had a grasshopper jump on my edge there when I was spraying, go figure. So um, I had to pull them off and try to respray again, but that looks pretty uh, muffed up. So I'll probably have to somehow retouch that in a way. I don't exactly know how I'm gonna do that, but um, this side landed up pretty good. So I guess uh, moral of this story is um, don't let grasshoppers jump on your console when you're painting them because you're gonna get that ugly mark because the rest of it looks pretty dope. So I guess we'll see how it is when it dries and I'll try to fix that, but uh, I guess we'll see. Okay, so go figure that it started to drizzle, so I had to cover it up. Um, there's like one dark cloud in the sky. <laughs> and go figure that it decided to do this when I'm uh, my stuff is drying. Now, the good news is that I think everything has dried enough to the point where the, it's, the water doesn't actually affect it. But I still am not a massive fan of that happening, you know. Uh, I guess we'll see how this goes. So far it's looking nice besides the grasshopper stain, but besides that, it's looking good. So I guess we'll, we'll see how this, uh, this looks uh, when it's all put together. Okay, so here is the shell. It's pretty decent. Like I said, uh, we do have some patching right there. Uh, I'll have to probably sand that off and then repaint again. But I mean, for the first attempt, this really isn't too bad. I think that the top there needs a little bit more of uh, a little paint to kind of add that shine. But like I said, first attempt, not terrible. So let's put the extra pieces in and we'll see how, uh, how this looks. Okay, so I managed to get the spot where the grasshopper jumped on pretty well hidden, but then I had an issue where the cap of my, <laughs> the cap of my uh, spray paint actually popped off and globbed on on top anyway so i tried to spread the uh, paint and it, it just got not good so i'm probably just gonna end up scraping a lot of this off and just trying again so uh, i tried to spread it out throughout the entire uh uh console it just it just did not work out as well as i thought it would um so that's that uh i guess we'll just have to maybe scrape and uh try again that's pretty much that's the only thing i can really uh consider um as you can see, it's really globbed on now. And I had it almost perfect too. So that's the way it goes. Let's, uh, maybe I'll try to scrape this and we can uh, try again. You know, I never had a spray paint bottle do that to me. Like just explode while I was using it. Uh, I'm gonna guess that maybe during shipping, uh, the cap just happened to explode. I just think what it is, is fate doesn't want me to spray paint. <laughs> this console but first the grasshopper now this so uh yeah i don't know i'm gonna keep on going because i already started this project but you know let's see what i can do okay so this is what we got so far <laughs> i just ended up rescraping re up a lot of the paint um i got off as much as i can and i'm just gonna try to repaint and see if i can match this paint here because that looks really nice that's what i wanted to aim for this whole time and then uh of course the bottle broke and uh, there you go so let us try this again and we'll see what we got afterwards okay now we come to the conclusion to our video and the question is 
was I able to kind of salvage the Series S, even though I ran into some hiccups along the way. And I think for what I decided to do in the very end, it ultimately was the best choice to kind of fix the issues that we, uh, we saw. So first, I'll show you what the Series S looked like before we painted it. Here is the Series S right there. As you can see, Series S, like a regular Series S, you know, everyone knows what Series S looks like. And now we come to my painted black console. Was I able to fix some of the issues that I ran into? And ultimately, what I decided to do was just buy a D brand skin and uh, throw it on there. So I think overall, while um, it looks good though, like look, the bottom black, I used the white foot pads there. Overall, it still looks good. I got black vents, black vents on this side. Um, it's not exactly what I wanted to do. I initially wanted to have like a um, the black shine like kind of on the bottom, but a little more, more shinier. And then of course my uh, spray paint bottle exploded on me. And as you can see, there is still some uh, stuff I got to probably uh, grind off later on maybe. It's a little bit of paint extra on there, but it's not that big of a deal. If you put it like from far away, you don't even notice it. So um, yeah, I think it looks pretty cool though. Ultimately, I just decided I'm just going to go with the D-Brand skin to kind of help cover up some of the scrapes because... Um, I tried repainting it and then I ran out of paint anyways. I was like, you know what? I'm going to eventually probably just do this again. Uh, when I find like maybe like a, a broken Series S on eBay for like hundred bucks, I'll try it again. But um, for my first attempt, while things didn't exactly go my way, I think it looks pretty good still in the end. I'm actually pretty happy with that uh, deep brand skin. So um, yeah, it's just the uh, black carbon fiber. I think it pulls everything together. And I also gave it the, uh, the white uh, button still. So I think that actually makes this look so much better with that white button. Initially it was a black button. I changed it over to the white one and I think that looks so cool. So let's um, do a little bit of comparison on how these actually look next to each other. And um, as you can see on your screen, that's what they look like. I think ultimately it is a, a pretty cool improvement. I actually kind of wonder if maybe this Series S will eventually do a um, a black version of the console or even some type of different variation. I mean, if you look at the consoles here, you could totally release these in like different colored plastics. Like this is just a white plastic, but you could do like a green plastic. You could do a blue plastic, you could do a red plastic, you could do a black plastic. You know, you could pretty much do that whatever you, you'd you want. So I think um, maybe in the future, if they do like a gen two of this. So like I said, I'll probably do this again at some point in the future, try it out and see if I can uh, get the work next time uh, using the knowledge I have now. But um, overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. I think this looks cool. Looks nice. So, you know, it's the way it goes. So I guess the moral of this whole test comes down to this. If you want to paint your Series S, it is very possible to do. Just make sure there's no grasshoppers around. There's no random dark cloud that rains on your paint. And third, probably don't buy your spray paint offline because if it gets damaged during chipping, it could break off and mess up your whole paint job. So there is my advice for the day. But guys, let me know what you thought about this video. Did this help you? I know this is more of kind of a fun thing for me, but this might actually be able to kind of guide other people into doing stuff, seeing what I did wrong, seeing what I did right, and kind of uh, helping guide them doing their own thing. So I hope that helps you. If you enjoyed this video, please want to like, subscribe, and turn notifications for more. Um, I'm always doing videos. And I'm going to be doing a lot more gaming videos. So um, stay tuned. But thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll catch you later. Peace.